What's good guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you're here with Justin. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this channel, we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related, my experiences, opinions, certain topics, but most importantly, my journey towards getting tattooed and working towards my bodysuit. Now I got some great news for you guys. I got a tattoo planned in the near future. You really don't want to miss that or any other future content. So go and hit that little red button that says subscribe. Join the community, but let's get to today's video. So I just did a recent video not too long ago on the essential items you need to bring to a tattoo appointment. Then it got me thinking, what do I do in leading up to the tattoo appointment? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I do in terms of leading up and getting ready a week prior, the night before, and then the day of the tattoo. So you guys know what to do and expect as well. So you are absolutely ready for that appointment. So like always, let's get to it, let's go. So I'm gonna start off with the week before. So during the week, what I like to do is one, I like to make sure that I am drinking tons of water. You wanna have your skin looking healthy, you wanna have it rejuvenated, and you want it to be the best it can possibly be. It helps the artist out, and then also it just helps you out in the long run. The next one I got for you guys is make sure you are moisturizing that area. Just because, again, you want that skin to be in the best possible shape it can be for that tattoo. If you have dry skin or flaky skin, and especially in areas that are prone to getting more dry, like the calf area, your leg area, your knees, your elbows, make sure you're moisturizing those areas so you, when you go into that tattoo, it is the best it possibly can be. And then the next tip I got for you guys, I've always said it, the sun is your number one worst enemy. I know it sucks and it really sucked for me because I had to do a job outside in the sun and the heat and I had to wear long pants over my legs because I didn't want to get them burnt. And it sucks because I want to wear shorts so bad but I knew that that sun was out and even if I put sunscreen on, it was still gonna burn and I just, I always go above and beyond and I just want to make sure that it was literally shaded so it literally has not gotten any sun. So that is what I usually do about a week before. The night before a tattoo is when you really gotta make sure everything is in order. So I make sure that my bag is ready. I did a video on that about all the essential items. I'll link that right here for you guys if you wanna go check that out. But I make sure everything that I need is in that bag and ready for the next day when I can get up and go. I usually get long tattoos that are in the span of eight to nine hour sessions. So I really prepare myself ahead of time and know that I have everything with me that night. We are gonna hop into the washroom and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do next. What I like to do is make sure that I have all my products in terms of aftercare ready. Just so I know once my tattoo's done, I can come home and be ready to tackle the aftercare routine and not have to worry about going to a store or anything because sometimes the day of the tattoo you end super late, maybe like 9, 10, 11 o'clock p.m. and everything's closed. Now I went and I checked and I got my antibacterial soap. You can use a bar. I also recommend using a foam. A foam works easier in terms of just getting the lathering done. I like to make sure I have my aquaphor, my healing ointment. This is perfect and essential for the first one to three days after the tattoo. And then what I also like to do is make sure I have my moisturizer from day four on. And also I like to make sure I got my paper towels, plenty of them, because they're gonna be a big help too. But then next, what I like to do the night before is I like to shave the area. Now I don't use a bladed razor just because it can lead to razor rash, razor burn, however you like to call it. You can get those little bumps from uh, shaving. So what I like to use instead is an electric razor just because this gives you a little, it still leaves a little bit of hair over the surface and you won't get those kind of burns that you would with the, say, the blade. I definitely say leave the shaving to the artist. They use a, a one to two bladed razor and it's not the best, so it takes a long time to clip long hairy people like me. So I like to help them out and just go in and trim all the long hairs I have off and you know maybe leave like a, a millimeter or two of hair left and then it's easy for them to go in with that little razor they have and easily just shave it off. So I just like to help them out, but now we're gonna go shave my leg because like I said, we got that coming soon. So I got the towel laid down. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am not exactly sure, but for the most part, I think 
the tattoo is gonna happen on the outer part of the leg. Ideas do change and maybe we change it and put it on the inside. So what I like to do is I'm just gonna shave the whole area from probably the knee down to help my artist out and then also just get it to you know a good length. We're gonna start now. Now I'm a hairy dude so this is gonna come, look at that. And there we go. So one is fully shaved with the electric razor. One is not, so you can see the difference. Oh my God, I'm white. One more thing I wanna mention you guys, I forgot to mention it before, is also make sure you guys are exfoliating that area. You know, it just helps get rid of any dead, unwanted skin on that area. Just makes it easier and better for your artist. I have my artist message me saying to do that, so I am forwarding the message to you guys. But now, lastly, we're gonna talk about the night before and then the day of the tattoo. So what I really wanna stress to you guys, and take it from me personally, I've had both experiences, is get a good sleep before the tattoo. Especially when you have tattoos that range from six hours and on, those are long tattoos and you really need to be well rested for that tattoo. I've had tattoos where I go in with two up to three hours of sleep. I compare them to the tattoos that I've had like eight hours of sleep and they are just night and day. Sleep really does make a difference. And then another one that makes a big difference is eating a big meal. Add more carbs into that so you're more energized. You gotta make sure your body is well nutrients to tackle that long day ahead of it, especially because your body's not used to this kind of damage to it. It's a needle puncturing it for hours on end. So it does drain your body a lot. And having that big meal in you to start the day off really does go a long way. And one more thing I gotta mention on the day of the tattoo is make sure you shower beforehand apply your deodorant bring that essential bag that has all your items that you're going to be bringing and go enjoy the tattoo experience i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys took some key points from it and use it on towards your next appointment because i guarantee you it will make your appointment a lot easier on you your artist and the whole experience in general let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what you guys do in terms of preparing for the tattoo and getting yourself ready. I always love hearing other people's opinions, other people's tricks. I can use them for myself. You guys can use somebody else's opinions. I love it. Go and let me know in the comments. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked the video, if you learned something new. This video means something's coming very soon, right? So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that or any other future content. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time, Justin. Out.